bicycling, bicycling can be a, for sport, for fun, or a way to get to work or around, but the activity can be dangerous as well. The CDC reports nearly 1,000 bicyclists are killed and more than 130,000 injured every year in the United States. A local company is hoping to create safer streets with new technology that has your back when you ride. I want to introduce you to the founder of Velo AI, Clark Haynes, joining us now in the studio to talk more about Copilot. So glad to have you here. Yeah, thank you. So why did you decide to jump into this industry with bike technology? Uh, for myself, I've been a lifelong bike commuter, always kind of getting to and from work. Uh, and that work happened to be robotics, autonomous vehicles and all of that. And I got to the point in my career where it was like, you know what, I need to bring these two things together right. and start applying the tech to actually make that commute or that leisure ride or your Sunday stroll, like just make it easier and safer for everyone. So what you have in your hands is something called Copilot, is mm -hmm. that right? So tell yep. us how it works. Yeah, so Copilot is basically a full artificial intelligence system on the back of your bike. So it's sitting here, it's watching cars, it's a video recorder, it's a light. Uh, but most importantly, it's actually watching the behavior of the cars and kind of telling the difference between the cars that are behaving nicely with you versus the ones that might, you know, buzz you really close or potentially come straight at you. So we, we joke it's like the autonomous jagoff detector <laughs> for our roads. It really yeah. does have your back. But so how does it alert you if it if a car is maybe getting a little too close? Because again, you're you're on two wheels, mm -hmm. you're navigating within traffic. So how are you getting alerted that's not also going to be a distraction? Right. We've designed this so that you don't have to necessarily uh, be looking at anything or paying attention in that way. It, it uses audio chimes to let you know what the car is doing differently so as the car changes behaviors different audio tones come through and you can hear those while you're biking if you want you can also pair it with a smartphone app and have your you know Android or iPhone right on your handlebars and get a little extra information out of those what did you find I mean as as a bike commuter yourself how how have you found this I mean is it do you feel dangerous Do you feel safe out on the roads tell us from your perspective I think a lot of it comes down to your your experience and your comfort level. Okay. I think your experience will send you different routes that maybe if you just plug in, you know, get some directions off of your typical maps app, it's gonna send you on some roads that might not be safe. So I think one of the advantages here is that we can start really collecting better data of those routes and know where are people going, where maybe we can give them a nudge and be like, hey, if you just went one block over, there's a way safer route. Right. It'll take you one minute longer, but you're less likely to get hit. Right, which is, I mean, the most important thing. Right. We have to share the road and do it in a responsible way. Is this something that is for sale right now? If somebody sees this and they're like, oh my gosh, I could really use this because I'm commuting every day. Right. Is it available for purchase? Very, very soon. So our website is velo.ai and we're taking kind of, you know, wait list for the very, very first customers. So the first product is coming out this fall and we're gonna be delivering a bunch of those before the end of the year. Well, you're a really smart guy. So what else are you working on? Um, this is something where you are merging some things that you were doing. So is there something else that you're working on? Yeah, so uh, my co-founder and I are both kind of backgrounds, PhDs at Carnegie Mellon. We, we have all sorts of things that we love to do with this technology. Mm -hmm. um, but the overarching goal is like, what are maybe overlooked areas where we can make our roads and streets safer that other companies aren't necessarily doing today? Other companies are making autonomous vehicles. Okay, well, let's put autonomous vehicle tech on a bike. And there are some other ways, you know, particularly for pedestrians, which has a similar uh, kind of trajectory of alarmingly increases in fatalities on our roads. And why is that? Is that because we're distracted when we're walking? I mean, yeah, I mean, there are a lot of reasons, uh, but you know, faster driving, larger cars, more distraction, uh, and you know, a distraction of all forms of all participants on the road. But really the roads are more dangerous today than they were even just 10 years ago. It sounds like you really want to help people out there and make sure that no matter what mode you're taking, it's the safest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I think there's a, you know, a vision of the future where it's just going to be autonomous cars whizzing about and we all just step into our pods and get whizzed off. But, you know, the future is really going to have a lot more diversity to that. There are going to be people walking. There are going to be people in wheelchairs. And we just want to make certain that we're make, making the streets safer for everyone. It is true. We all think about it like the Jetsons, right? Like yeah. they're just going to be whizzing off. But yep. a lot of work still needs to be done and, and you're helping pave the way. Yeah, hopefully. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Really interesting stuff. And for more information on Copilot and Velo AI, you can check out our website at kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh. We'll be right back.